So just what makes tsunami waves so different and so much more destructive than ordinary storm waves? Well, an ocean wave is caused by the effect of the wind on the surface of the sea. But a tsunami is triggered when a huge volume of water, not just on the surface but right down to the ocean floor, is shifted in one sudden violent motion. This rapid movement can happen after a volcanic eruption or a landslide or an underwater earthquake. When an earthquake, for example, cracks the ocean floor, one side of the fault is thrust up. This then pushes up the whole body of water above the fracture as well, creating a wave on the surface of the sea that becomes a tsunami. In mid-ocean, the ripples of a tsunami have a small wave height and a very long wavelength. That's the distance from the front of the wave to the back of the wave, and this can be hundreds of miles long. But as the tsunami reaches land, it goes through a frightening transformation. From the shore, the first sign that something's wrong may be the water along the beach being sucked back towards the source of the tsunami. This is called drawback. Then, as the tsunami itself nears land, the shallow water acts like a brake, slowing the front of the wave dramatically but the back of the wave, hundreds of miles behind, is still travelling fast. It now catches up, causing the front of the wave to rear up into a wall of water. But there's worse to come. Instead of breaking on shore, the whole length of the wave sweeps onto land, engulfing everything in its path. 